So, here we are. And I think I know where you think I think I know this is going. You're thinking the Beetle now has a twin-turbo V8 engine in the back. But, no. Same miserable configuration as always. No, the producers reckoned that all the Beetle would need to win a drag race with the Porsche was a bit more gravity. Let me explain. The helicopter is going to suspend our Beetle exactly a mile above the finish line here. At the start of the race, the helicopter will release the Beetle and it will begin its race towards the chequered flag. At the same time, I will unleash the Porsche from a mile away in this direction and the race will be on. Best predictions at the moment. The Porsche will complete the mile in 37 seconds. The Beetle, somewhere between 36 and 40 seconds. The math, which is done entirely by me and not at all by the Doctor of Aerodynamic and Automotive Sciences at Loughborough University, state that this really should be very close indeed. The Porsche can hit 62 miles an hour in 3.7 seconds. The one problem we do have is wind. Anyway, take my word for it, it's going to be close. It was time to take our positions. I don't think I've ever been so worried about wind speeds before. Just a five knot breeze could alter where the Beetle will land by half a kilometre. And that's slightly scary. Just... Hello, what's the latest wind speed? Wind speed six knots. We just climbing to 4,040. Exactly sure what use the crash helmet's going to be if you know if, but it's a nice touch. Soon the Beetle was hovering one mile above the finish line. Lining up for the drop. Stabilise, load. I'm ready. Three, two, one. I should be doing 60 by now, I'm at 45. This surface does not react the same as tarmac. Seven seconds in, he's doing 100 by now. I'm doing 75. With the Porsche struggling to accelerate on the slippery salt flats, the Beetle was romping into the lead. Look at him tumble! I'm doing 100 miles an hour. It's moving about. On the salt, it's a terrible surface. But the Porsche wasn't beaten yet, because at 125 miles an hour, the Beetle reached terminal velocity and couldn't fall any faster. Whereas my Speedo could keep climbing. I've got to keep pushing through. 125 for me, we're matching speed. He's rolling about all over the place. 140! 145! No! No! God, I lost! No! Not the Beetle! Well, that's... my life is over. On the plus side, I think the Beetle looks in worse shape than the Porsche. <laughs> <laughs>